pals. We just got done watching Patrick Swayze's Roadhouse, and now we're going to watch Jake Gyllenhaal's Roadhouse. Here we go. I'm excited. Oh, oh. right to it. Well, we're getting the thing you wanted from the first yeah, one. Yeah, it's different, right? For today's audience. Oh. That's not Jake Gyllenhaal. Hey, movie, you can't fool me. Isn't that Post Malone? I don't know why I'm thinking of Spider-Man all of a sudden. Look, watch. Wah! Dang, his shoulders. <laughs> He's that guy. He's like, no, I'm out. Not this guy. Not him. Perfect hair? No, no. Oh, no. He didn't even have to throw a punch. But that does a good job of setting up how dangerous he is without him having to yeah. do anything. Woo! Jakey, you worked out. Wow, you just show up to get paid. That's dope. I'll take that job. Where are you going? Sir. What's your problem, You just guy? lost me 500 bucks, asshole. Oh, oh, oh. What? What the hell? Uh. I don't think he's okay. I think he was pretending. No vital organs were hit, maybe. It's a nice little scam you got going on in there. Know your history, and then they'll be too afraid to fight. <laughs> oh, it needs work, and... You know, it actually took me a second to, to recognize you. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> That's part of the sweater. It's a look. Patience and a keen interest uh, in the result. He doesn't even have to stitch it together, just like super glue. Maybe that leads to less scarring? I own a roadhouse, but know. lately it's been attracting the wrong clientele. Oh. All my bounces have ran off. You. Is her place called Coyote Ugly? <laughs> Coyote Ugly was great. It wasn't like that. I can pay you good money, 5K a week, just for a month, and I can put you up. 20K? Hmm. Look, at least let me text you my number. Oh, I don't have a phone. She's relentless. I'll write it down on a pen and paper, just like our ancestors did. <laughs> now I'm wondering if he's gonna have a romantic thing with her instead of a doctor. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> this ain't the holiday end, pal. I am a moving. I knew she was gonna knock and I still got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he used to be a boxer or something. MMA. Either. Yeah. There was like this clip circulating on the internet of him going into an MMA ring. Oh my god. Your car doesn't work very well. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Whoa! The Florida Keys, parts of Havana, Cuba. He's like, God still wants me to live. Did you see Fred on your way in? Wait, what's that? Is Fred a tree? Fred, the tree on the bridge, he grows right in the middle of the road. Did you see him? Can't say that I did. Big old tree just kind of pops out of nowhere. That's Fred the tree. Oh my God. I think we've established this. God damn. In case you didn't hear, the tree's name is Fred. I'm Charlie, by the way. How much is the book? It's about Fred the Tree. You run this bookstore on your own. A double deuce. No. That's a nice little Easter homage. Egg. Yeah. yeah. Look at a bar. Bartending? No. The owner's having a little trouble, I guess, and I'm uh, here to clean it up. That kind of sounds like the Plateau Western. Yeah. <laughs> she told me it was a roadhouse, but she never told me the name. It's just the roadhouse. It's the name of the movie. That's the name of the movie. It's just up the highway past <laughs> mile marker 77. Oh, well, thank you for the book, but... Um, I don't, I'm on uh, a budget. No, no, keep it. Please. It's on us. <laughs> Is there gonna... She keeps telling people about this damn tree. Take it, please. I don't want her to talk about it anymore. I want there to be something in there that comes back later on. The book? Yeah, okay, like some about. information. And he's like, oh, wait, hold on. Let me just kill them with Fred the tree. Oh. I mean, it looks cute. It's massive. It's certainly a house by the road. This is a cute town. I'll get a black coffee. Yeah, we don't have that. Sorry. Mm. She's drinking she, black coffee. Better... What are you drinking? Yeah. It's a Cuban coffee. Can I have a Cuban coffee then? I know who you are. You got oh. a bruise. Elwood Dalton. Ah, uh, I was wondering. I was like, Dalton sounds like a last name. Oh, I guess he was an MMA fighter. Everyone knows who he is. Oh. Yeah. Assessing the situation, yeah. who's taken from the till, who's having sex in the back. All right, all right. I saw the other movie, okay? I'm a big fan. They gotta get it right. Now, I hate to stereotype, but this feels like trouble. Oh, no. Her expression they changed. Yeah. Hey, he's an old man. Wow, it's like a Morgan here. You suck. He looks like a big jerk. Are you stupid? 
We've been punched in the face too many times. Honestly, it's probably the punching thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got some work to do. Don't break. Oh, he broke it. Damn. Damn. Don't Double. break all of the. Oh, now they can't play pool. your pulls. problem. This is not right. Those are your bikes out there, right? Uh oh, he's going to kick oh, him yeah, over. Yeah. yeah, mine's a red one on the right. Why did yeah. he tell him that? He's just being nice. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Oh, good plan. Just kicking him over. Just to get them out. I just wanted to get you outside so I could ask you to leave the premises. Oh, we'll leave. After I can kill you. <laughs> Hey, Frankie. Yeah. Is there a hospital nearby? Literally, who gives a shit? <laughs> He's just concerned about their well-being. About like 25 minutes, I'd say. Oh, you're so <laughs> helpful, guy. guy. Mo, <laughs> shut the f*** up. Yeah. Mo, just stay out of it. You're Mo too is, nice. Mo is my favorite bad guy so far. <laughs> Whoa! No, I just slapped you. Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he's slapping everybody. Slap, slap, slap. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no, Mo, no, Mo. Mo you're Come fine. on, you're Just smarter stay down. than that, Mo. Stay down. Hey, Frankie. Yeah, you got a car I could borrow? He's going to drive them all? Hey, Bob. Oh, oh <laughs> you know the feeling. Yeah, a yeah but and that's a bump in the road. You were popping my clutch. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, man. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. Oh, Mo, you're so sweet. <laughs> He's just in with the wrong crowd. He could be. Oh, oh, hello. There is a. She's a doctor. Hot. God damn. You know, I'm supposed to call the cops on guys like you, right? Well, you definitely should. Only I don't think they really care about Ragefield dickheads around these parts. You're bleeding. Oh, it's oh. stitch. Or the glue. Glue and duct tape. So you like to fight? I look nasty. It's not infected, but I'll need to search for this. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I would be hurting myself every week just to be in front of this doctor. She is so fine. I saw that there was a houseboat for sale at the marina, so I thought maybe I'd go check that out. I own it's it. It's mine. It came with the bar. Oh. You were more than welcome to stay there, but I highly advise you to Wow, that's convenient. Time. Also, watch out for the crocodile. Oh my god, we're gonna have a crocodile in this movie. Is it gonna slap the crocodile? Oh my god, what's the boat called? The boat. I love it. Oh, is this a flashback? No, he did instant transmission, Achara. Dalton. Oh. There's no doorbell. Hi, Dalton. Probably because it's a boat. A lot of, like, stating the obvious in this movie. What can I do for you, partner? Yeah, see? Kind no, they've all heard. Maybe a computer around these parts I could use. Please tell me it's a screensaver of Fred the Tree. What? Even Ooh, at the bookstore? Another fight is coming. Here we go. Oh. Get out there. Oh, oh, oh what? Oh, go. She's got a bat? Stay inside. Why are you going out there? Get out of here, all of you. No, go. Very brave. No, that's not brave. That's stupid. You always stay inside your property. That's if a they fine come in, line. Then... I mean, it's like, you know. Well, they probably wouldn't hurt a young girl, right? Like, she gets away with it because she's a girl and she's young. Mr. B, maybe you should hold off on that shave till we get to shore. Yeah, this is crazy. Captain Shore, it's gonna be smooth sailing, right? Smooth sailing. Whoa! The guy shaving him is gonna get beat up. He's still in the hospital. He's got a concussion. <gasps> Sorry, it's fine. It's fine. Oh God, he's going overboard. Why? Why take a chance like this? I'm nervous. Why are you doing this? Just stay still. You're all supposed to have this job done by now. I still think we can scare him off. <gasps> He's gonna fall in the ocean. Maybe it's time we get your old man involved. Oh. oh. This guy is going overboard. Let me talk to you for a second. Whoa, okay, wrong guy. I thought for sure the... Well, somebody had to get hurt. He, he can't possibly be at fault for asking for such a stupid thing. <laughs> I'm digging this. This guy's got a knife under his shirt, more in red. Do you want to handle it? Oh boy. Man. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh. He uh, takes it out. You just take a big step back and pop him in the face. Oh, easy. Easy like. <laughs> it's just a knife. This kid's crazy. I wouldn't. No big deal. I'll be like, no, it's fine. You can, handle it, Dalton. Can you just show me how you do it? Because so I can do it next time. <laughs> oh, he knew. Wow. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. oh. To the hospital. <laughs> They're still singing. It's very convenient that they can be this rough with the patrons. Apparently, law enforcement doesn't care. It's an island. A lot of smiling going on every time yeah. they take someone out of the bar. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Did he get arm barred? Oh, shit. <laughs> I need a bigger boat. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Damn. Oh, God. Jesus. Damn it, pal. Shut up. Just shut up. My fucking truck. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, God. What if the truck lands on top of him? Jeez. Oh my goodness. Side note, that guy's really accurate driving backwards. Yeah. Because <laughs> you ever try to parallel park or reverse that fast? Jesus. Where's your money? Uh, you're a real pain in my ass. What are you doing here? I was hoping tonight would look more like an accident. How do you know? Drunk driver. Less questions that way. I guess he had to wait to make sure. Why all the fuss? I mean, I'm just some guy. Oh, hell, it ain't you. It's the roadhouse. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, this whole place is getting messed up. This is my home. Can you swim? Apparently not. So you're gonna kill me now? Why would I kill you? Well, that was stupid. I'm just gonna throw right back. <gasps> oh, oh, it's the alley! The crocodile! I knew it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hang on! Hang on! I got you! I got you! Oh! oh! Dude! That thing was hungry. That was oh. highly unexpected. Are you I serious? Forgot, I forgot all about that thing. I, com I completely forgot. I'm like, it, 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 it didn't read its head yet. Is that a good bookstore? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it sure looked like you and that girl were having a grand time in there. Uh-oh. Who are you? Uh-oh. This guy's starting trouble. Get in the car. Boss wants to have a word with you. Who's your boss? Ben Brandt. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to disarm him. You don't understand how this works, do you? Yeah, I do. If he wants to talk to him, he's not going to be dead. But you have a gun tucked in your waistband, so it's really not that intimidating, is it? Take it out. And all I have to do is break your index and your middle finger, and you wouldn't be able to hold that gun. So it's really not that big of a threat, is it? <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? It's really painful. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a gun, too, do you? <laughs> I just don't get why he was so focused on the roadhouse. You just said he terrorized this place for months. Yeah. Shit, man, I don't know. I mean, some of these guys, they get real territorial. Who knows why these assholes do what they do? No, it's nothing that simple. Broke your fingers. Yeah, when he took my gun. At least you didn't get eaten by a crocodile. True that, true that. Uh-oh. Hello. This is a prepaid call from... Hey, yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no. Oh my gosh. It's like you thought he's bad. Yeah. Wait until you meet his dad. No, don't do that. Just hang up. I gotta buy another phone. I don't think that's a problem for him. Go buy me a phone. Go get my phone. Oh shit. Can you swim with your fingers all jacked up like that? I was wondering when he was gonna come into play. Somehow this doesn't seem too far removed from his actual character in real life. Wow. Oh, look at his walk. Stop. It's Gerald Brain. Where are you? Close, Shelba. I got a serious fucking problem. Florida. Hang on. He's full of smiles, too. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Oh. 
Gorsa. Take it, Gorsa. take it. Just take it. I would hand it. I would hand it. Whoa, like, yeah. If someone comes up to me naked, I'm like, here, just have it all. I don't need these problems. Yeah, how did he get the right size? That was very, like, happy Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was odd. Nice boat. Ex boyfriend. Ah. He lets me use it. He's a cop. Feeling brave? Hell yeah. <laughs> Be careful of the crocodile. Where are we going? Where are you going? Enjoy the ride. Maybe oh, we're sand. just gonna go chill. Is there sand? Yeah, it's a little island thing. Oh yeah. That's nice. I've done that in Australia. It's pretty fun. Where are you from? Uh, Montana. Is it a nice place? Look, I think maybe we should head back. We just got here. Happened? What's on his mind? He's got a weird feeling. I just didn't think this through. I didn't, I didn't realize this was a date. Uh. What's wrong with you? He can't get close to anybody. This is interesting. They flipped it on its head. You don't want to know me. Don't tell me what I want. Hmm. You think we don't have the internet out here? What? He killed someone in the ring. And you know, this is a date. Oh, shit. You can't say no. Oh, I've been there. You can't just... Nope, that's it. You're fucked. <laughs> you can't walk away. Who put those... Them boys in me way. <laughs> For you. Is it gonna hurt everybody in here? Sandwiches. He got famished. Jesus, he knocked all the fucking bikes over. Uh -oh. Now you got a big ass problem, Bucko. No shit. First off, we're gonna need more than three sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if he'd have to do a different accent, but he just has to play himself, and that's fine. Yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they didn't show the fight. Let me see the aftermath. That's yeah. Good enough. I'm sorry, who the f*** are you? Hey, I got a message for you. From your father. Him. What is this message? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ben, right? Jerry, son. This is where I'll store my stuff. And that master bedroom up there is mine. What are you talking about? What is that? Is that dynamite? Yeah, what is that? Yeah. Who are you? Your dad says you've been f***ing things up. Oh, no. What's he going to do with that? He asked me to lend a hand. His trousers are really nice. Your father has spies everywhere. Well, you can tell my father I don't need your f***ing help. The way he walks, it's like he's listening to music. Yeah. So where's this bouncer, asshole? Okay. Can we, uh... Let's take a minute. You can't go and shoot this guy in the middle of town f***ing square. You said anything about shooting? Yeah. Once Knox is on the job, it's over, baby. <laughs> it's just a matter of when. Yeah, you're right. I, I'm sure. I'm sure you're amazing. Amazing. <laughs> He's great. <laughs> I'll be seeing you soon. I know where you live. Oh, damn. Oh. Why'd the cops show up? You have a few questions about the other night? Need you to come with us? I'm so glad they're bringing the cops into the picture because, like, that was sorely lacking in the other movie. Oh, man, I'm in love. Okay. All right, calm down. Have you seen her? <laughs> uh oh. Good sheriff, bad sheriff. The father character? Oh, it's Elwood. Oh, it's him. Who? He's in. He was in. Uh, she's in Shogun. The priest. Most people call me Dalton, sir. Most people call me Big Dick. I think so. Oh wait, no. Maybe I'm wrong. Your deputy says you had some questions for me. I'm the sheriff of all of Monroe County, but Glasky is special. Do you know why? Smuggling. Drugs. My children were raised here. Oh. All the people that live here now are like family. I'd like you to leave here, my friend. Ah, uh, you don't want to be my friend. Oh boy. Well, in that case, there are a few ways this can go. I can arrest you. For what? It doesn't matter. We'll lose the paperwork. We'll find you someday. Likely the very same day you get shanked in the yard. Howard doesn't really rhyme with much, but uh, I mean, if it's a catchy tune. Get him out of the car! Uh-oh. We've got some get dirty cops in on the take. Oh, okay, boy. okay, okay. He can't, like, <clears throat> handle them the way he did the other guys. <gasps> This was really missing in the other film. I'm so happy they put this in here. It's like, this explains a lot. You have a death wish, son. Whoa. Are they related? Maybe. What do you think you're doing? Whoa. Is that the ex-boyfriend? Come on, Dalton. 
he was just like on the ground like what the fuck is happening he's my father my mom died and I moved away from the Keys. Too many talked about Ben Brent. His father is Gerald Brent. He put a lot of money into Glass Key on the fleet of charter boats that ran tours. This is quite a situation. Until he was gone. He's in prison now. And I guess now my father works for his fucking son. Oh, so that's her father. You have to leave Glass Key. Wow. He's not going anywhere. No. I bet this was a nice town once. Nice towns are overrated. How much damage are we supposed to do here? Like all of it. Skadoosh. Hopefully this it? guy doesn't get beat up. Of course. Oh, or the bookstore. Oh. Oh no, we're gonna set it on fire? <laughs> this extra was interesting. That lady is like, what? This looks sus. No, this is not gonna work, little girl. Dang. Let me guess, it's your turn now. My turn? You're gonna threaten me? Tell me to get out of town? No, I get the impression that you can't be threatened. I, I'd even bribe you if I thought money would. Really? How much are we talking? <laughs> I can't help wonder what an outsider like you thinks you're doing here. Working. What are any of us doing here anyway? Well, I, I belong here. <laughs> <laughs> I helped build this town. My, my father helped it grow before he went to prison, I'm assuming. Uh-oh, that's a sore spot. Yeah. I'm not here to talk about my family's history. I actually have a, a question. They keep uh, uh -oh. taking this off YouTube. Oh. oh, geez, what is it? And I keep watching it over and over again. And there's just one thing I don't get. Here you are fighting this guy. He's your friend, right? Oh, my God. Oh, he killed, he killed him? his friend. <laughs> Yeah, he's done. He just keeps going. Right here. <laughs> oh, nice sound effect at the same time, too. Yeah. In my opinion, that's the one that did it. I was definitely the one that did it. It was. Oh, he's just, just yeah. twisting that knife. What he's describing, I feel like I've seen so many times in fights where it's mm. like the guy's clearly knocked out and then they go for that extra hit. That's why you need the ref to get in there. Why don't you just stop? He's brazen to just be like yeah. shoving this in his face. It's like, you watch him kill someone with his hands. You don't have any. You don't have that. <laughs> you have a good night. That was actually a really cool little scene for him not saying much at all. Yeah. Make it hurt as much as possible. You can burn the place down. Wow. Hey, nice suit. Oh, Jesus. And again, you always have bad taste. Thank you, it's Cleopini. Frankie, I went to Italy to get it fitted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lads, let's go. It's been a while since I've been clubbing. Uh-oh. Ha-ha. I wonder if he recognizes him. Dude walks in with a golf club. I'd be getting up right away if I'm Jake Gyllenhaal's character. Why isn't it getting up right away? Like someone walks in with a weapon She's like that. She's looking at him like, get up. Maybe he's got a plan. Let's dance. Wow. No, no, Billy, this is not for you. Billy the kid is gonna get messed up. Whoa, it, it, it broke. Oh no, get out, run away. Ah! Oh, oh. That's a golf club, god damn. Oh, ow. Oh. Oh, shit. Ouch. Oh, ah. my gosh. That looked great. Oh, wow. More panning, panning, panning. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Mo's the best. I got a tip for you. Don't let no one get this close. Oh, damn. Oh. Oh. Oh, this feels brutal. Oh, damn. Dang. It's taking a lot of. Oh, we're in a POV shot. Yeah, that's. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, he getting messed up. The, the band's still playing. There's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. Me too. Yeah. Uh, well, at least he admitted it. Dalton. Dalton. Hey, are you okay? 
Stay away from me. You just bring trouble. <laughs> it's very animalistic. Like, even the way he was yeah. going through the cage. Oh, what? Good. Oh, he's packed? Brand wants to take the roadhouse away from me. You see that? All up and down the highway? Brand owns all of that. And he wants to level it and build some bullshit resort for a bunch of rich assholes. Ah. Uh. You know, if I closed my eyes, I would have thought that that's Aquafina's sister or something. Oh. Because they, their voices sound similar. So what, you're leaving now? Frankie, I told you from the jump, you should have hired that other guy. Sam Elliott. Are you really that afraid? Yes, I am afraid. More than you could ever understand. Because he would have murdered him. Again. He yeah. had have murdered that Irish guy. Hopefully no one died. It's not safe in there. Where's the little girl? The that the little girl and her, her father. Ambulance took him to the hospital. Okay. In the hospital? Because, like, they didn't leave right away, remember? Yeah, no, I know, but yeah, there goes time. your bus. Um, okay, they're alive, but they might be pretty messed up. The funny thing is, I was already leaving. We finally scared you off, huh? Uh, not exactly. No. Just as long as you're scared. <laughs> oh, in the, throat in the throat instead. Just broke the hyoid bone in your throat. Probably also collapsed your trachea. You won't be able to breathe anymore. Do you have a straw? Oh, no. No, he did. Oh, he's dead. He dead dead now. He dead dead now. Oh, Mo. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love his character so much. I know, much. he's so good. It turns out these guys, not as nice as I thought they were initially. <laughs> I just like riding motorcycles, man. But it's really hard to do in South Florida without a group. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with the guy. We're gonna miss you, Mo. You're the best. You know, they had a very nice even hand with Mo's character. Yeah. Because he could be too much. Yeah, he was like, yeah. just enough. Just, uh, oh, he got angry. That's what happened. He saw red. He didn't know what he was doing anymore. Yeah. Turned into a beast wakes up. Yeah. Post nut clarity. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> is that what it is? Put it up. Oh, just money. Whoa. Lots and lots of money. Wow. You're gonna be short one sheriff's boat. Sorry. Jesus! Did you just kill him? Oh no. You did. You did. He's already dead. I killed him hours ago. Is that my gun? Yeah, sure is. You pushed him too far. I'll tell him it was you. Oh, Oh, you okay. have to be alive for that to happen. <laughs> What's he looking for? A good stick. When you've been fighting as long as I have, you know the power of a concussion. But a real whack can really knock the short-term memory out of you. It takes a memory, a couple minutes to get to the long-term part of your brain. I don't know. Anyway, you and I have only been uh, talking I, for about a minute and a half. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, what's that over there? Yeah. <laughs> God. <gasps> How can I help you? Yes, hi. I just thought you should know that there's a dead body in suspicious sheriff's deputy stranded on Harvest Key. Hang up. Brent's got her. He wants his money. The money you took. I didn't take any money. My deputy told me. You were talking some shit about short term memory. <laughs> <laughs> they addressed it right away. <laughs> he wants the money by noon. Or he says he'll kill her. Is he lying? He's probably lying. No, I don't think so. You're that bouncer asshole, aren't you? Yes, I am that bouncer asshole. You see this right here, pal? I'm a cop, you idiot. Don't worry. I'll bring it right back. No, hey, you're not going anywhere, man. <laughs> like he cares. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows how he got that? Oh, man, he loves whatever this is. Yeah. <laughs> it's so extra. It's expensive. Yeah. It used to be my old man's. I got it when he uh, he went away. Oh, did you send him away? Where's my goddamn money? Oh, I gave it to him. Hey, talking? calm down. Why do you keep wasting my time? Why are you annoying? I don't see Ellie anywhere. And... This guy looks pretty comfortable for a guy who just had his daughter kidnapped. Yeah. You were right. No. You actually believe that Ben took my daughter? We are partners, idiot. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> Once I get my money, you can have her. Son of a bitch. You keep on pushing me. You just push me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's losing his mind. Yeah. I'm going to have to have... Sam here hurt you. Oh no. no. Shit will get real crazy real fast. Hey, wait, God damn it. Stop. Wait. Sit down. Oh. I do know one guy is gonna be pretty pissed about this whole betrayal thing. And who is that? Uh, just some asshole cop. 
Uh oh. <laughs> what the f is he doing? Oh, it's not working. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, he certainly scratched it. Oh, poor guy. He was just stuffed. Oh, that's not fair. I feel like that was played for laughs. No, I feel really bad. If it was a goon, that's one thing. But, like, these guys just run the boat. Oh, she is on the boat. Oh, God. My goodness. Ellie! Ellie, Ellie, what? What are you doing? Ah! I hope she didn't get shot. We're out, and we can swim. Oh, we're gonna fight in the water? Oh, my God. Wow, that looks... Interesting. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Someone's gonna get... I mean, you were perfectly fine to mess up the bookstore. Get under, get under. Oh, or the side. Let's go. Oh my god. Is this gonna be like face off? They're gonna fight on the boat? Our own little octagon. Who taught you shapes? <laughs> oh no. He was smiling in the water. Yeah. <laughs> this is really beautiful, just the setting. They're playing chicken? Yep. She's feisty. Whoa. What? <gasps> what? Ow! What? <laughs> <laughs> This movie is bananas. Ooh. Hey. Oh, 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 right. oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, damn. Ah, you don't hit my girl. Oh, no, oh, no. We're, turn it off. Oh, this really is like face off. That boat's gonna flip. Yo, he's not gonna be in rush hour three. <laughs> I can't believe this movie's not over yet. Oh my gosh. Where is this headed? Yeah. Ow. Ow. Okay. We're coming. How bad is the roadhouse? It's, I mean, the, the back patio is pretty messed up. It was already messed up before. I mean, at this point, it's a daily occurrence. Nothing a little dirt can't fix. Ah, dang. Oh, your back's messed up. Let's stop. Let's stop. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Oh my ah. God dang. Oh my God, his face. Whoa. How is he getting up? Oh my God. Yo. Looks like I up your leg. You're a shit driver. <laughs> oh, so did a road. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Geez. oh. What the Whoa. hell was that? That was wild. Ow, 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 ow. That looks so, pain. that looks so painful falling on that ground. <laughs> It's not an octagon. It's not a. It's not a mat. What shape is it? Isn't it like a circle? I just mean like the ground. Like yeah. Oh 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 oh. Ouchie! 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 <sighs> oh. Oh jeez. Okay. 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 Don't give up. Don't give up. Oh 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 no oh, shit. no no no. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh, he got oh, out. Oh, man, he got out? <laughs> ah! Oh, no. Oh, gosh. I will resort to trickery now. Do it! You're annoying. Maybe you should do, do it. your f***ing job! You're a brat. Oh, you might die, because he's psycho. What does it take to shoot you? Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh! 
Oh, dang. Oh, well, I'm sure your employer isn't going to be pleased about this. <laughs> We're still going? Oh, Damn. my God. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> God. Are you okay? I don't know. <laughs> He's got that look on his face like, I know the devil. I saw him. <laughs> How is he not bleeding more? He got stabbed. Okay, dog, we need you now. We're walking out like that is such a 90s move. <laughs> I'm sorry. God, his eye looks terrible. Why is he sorry? For all the mess, for bringing her into it. Look, who's here? What? Oh, the dad? Oh, do we need to kill her dad too? Sir? It's time for you to go, Dalton. Okay. You're never here. Oh. You have to go. Damn. It really is like a Western, huh? Yeah. Was it worth 20000 Yeah, they were very on the nose with that. Like, <laughs> it's like a Western. I guess we don't need to see the mom. I mean, the, the, the father and daughter, because we know they're alive in the hospital. It's fixable. Fixable. There's a hmm. truck in that, the bar. That is correct. It's like Patrick Swayze once said in another movie. It gets worse before it gets better. It'll get worse before it gets better. Are you guys open today? Do we look uh, open? Yeah. That's just how the bar looks. There's the bus again. Oh, and he's got his uh, cooler with the money. So that's important. Does it have the money? Yeah. Are you sure it's got the money? I'm pretty I sure he... it's got money in it. I thought he pulled a drive. No, no, I mean the money that he got paid for his job. I'm not talking about like the extra money. So this is it? You're just gonna... You're yeah, just gonna ride us into the sunset? It's always how the story ends, right? Oh, he left the money for them. Ah. I got news for you. You ain't the villain either. Go away! Bye. Oh, there's the tree. Ah. I was like, why are we looking at this? Thank you for bringing it back. For some reason, I thought the tree would be bigger. <laughs> it's kind a of a joke. joke. It's kind of, but I legit thought that the tree would be bigger. Oh, this is produced by Joel Silver as well. Okay. Make that money. <laughs> Oh, he's out. <laughs> he's so bow-legged when he walks. I told you he wasn't dead. I think both versions have something to offer that's cool. Yeah. Uh, because, I mean, it seemed like the consensus was that it doesn't hold up to the original or it's not better than the original. At least that's what I yeah. felt like I was hearing. But I'm watching this, I'm like, I feel like in some ways it actually did better than the original. In other ways, the original was certainly better. In terms of just, like, characters that you immediately fell in love with, I feel like they got that better in the original. Mm. You know, with Patrick Swayze and Sam Elliott and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you immediately were like, just, you know, you were with these people. The moment Sam Elliott shows up, like, you're just immediately yeah, rooting for 100%. him, right? I do f kind of miss that aspect of the, the, the brotherly camaraderie and stuff like that, 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 that they had together. Obviously, you know, this film did its own thing, which is cool. Respect that. I thought that this was actually a fun take on that 80s classic. I mean, it's definitely an update for current times. So yesterday I got sent a, a reel from one of our friends. I forget who this woman was, but I think she works in the industry. And she was saying a lot of the time people are writing scripts now or making movies, especially for platforms, streaming platforms, second screenable, which means that most people who are watching movies like this are scrolling, looking at their phone on the same time. Oh. It has to play out where everything is really obvious and where they tell you what's going on multiple times throughout the movie so that if you're not fully paying attention and you're on another device, you can still understand the story and what's going on. And I definitely felt it in this movie because everything was like on the nose. Everything was like that explained me, that right me away. That, and that makes yeah. me really sad. Yeah. I wish you had never told me that. That <laughs> makes me like, sad. Today, that's how you have to do movies because of how people's viewing habits have changed. Yeah. I think that they definitely had this in mind. A lot of the exposition was like very, very basic. I, yeah, I get it. It's, yeah. I, I understand. That's horrible. But l let's let's put that little detail aside. They mentioned the tree like eight times <laughs> I know, at the beginning like, of the movie. I get it. There's a tree. The thing that I noticed the most being the kind of person I am, uh, it's the camera work and the fight scenes and stuff yeah. like that. And there were instances where it was like awesome and glorious. And then there were other instances where it was like drawing attention to itself in a way that bothered me. And sometimes 
it just felt like there was like a CGI punch happening or something, or maybe they were stabilizing it. It was a lot of swish pans because they were trying to give you the sense of it being a long take and like you being in the fight. Like I said, there were parts where I'm like, well, this is kind of cool. And it feels like you're really part of the brawl. And other times where it's like, it feels like you're trying to do something. And I'm reminded I'm watching a movie. Right. As far as the character goes with Jake Gyllenhaal, I actually thought that he was pretty cool. It wasn't like a straight Patrick Swayze, right? No. He was he was another character who had his own dark history that he was, you know, combating inside. They had a different approach with the romance because in the original, Patrick Swayze's approaching her. Mm-hmm. Here, he's like, I, I, I like you, but I, I can't. And she's like, no, no, we doing this. She was cool. I, I, I don't buy him for a second leaving. She is way too fine. Yeah. <laughs> that ending, mm-mm, I don't believe you. We'll make it work, babe. We'll find a way. Acting was cool, I guess. I mean, for the I mean, Con- Conor McGregor had his own style of acting, whatever you want to call that. That was. I know he was just yeah. playing himself, and and like we said while we we're watching it, it worked because I mean, as much of a caricature and as over the top as he was, it worked for that character because he's just absolutely crazy. Yeah. And so it's like, okay, he doesn't have to feel like a real grounded person. This guy's a cartoon, and he's like fully embracing that, and so he. He was just fun and wild. He's like the Tasmanian devil personified or something yeah. like that, you know? Mo, great. Great. Yeah. We love Mo. Yeah, he was awesome. Mo w- like, was pitch perfect. He brought a lot of really great comedic moments. Like, I really liked him. He was just such a fun, fresh character who's like, he seems way too nice to mm-hmm. be part of this motorcycle gang. D- Daniel, Daniela Melchior. <laughs> That's all I got to say about yeah, that. Gorgeous. I'm still a tad surprised nothing came up with uh, Jessica Williams's character, Frankie. It just felt like there it's, was something there. Yeah, it felt like something was there. You it know. was definitely one of those things where they were like, oh, we need more women in the story. Mm. So let's just swap out some of these characters that don't necessarily have to I be men. I felt like they added a lot of it. women. Um, they did. They added a lot. They took out all the nudity from the original, which I guess is fine. We don't necessarily need that to tell a good story. Post Malone, I thought was, that was a choice. I I don't really understand it other than like the notoriety he has. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, it's like, yay, it's Post Malone. Yeah. He, from music. It was a cool intro because... I rem- you know, with the other film, you you kind of were like, I don't understand why we didn't get an opening with Patrick Swayze showing his, his skills right away. But that's what yeah. you were talking about. Like, it's a different style of storytelling. Yeah. Like, today, we're so used to, right off the bat, if it's an action movie, yeah. we know it's an action film because it, it hits you with the action yeah. right away. And I thought that they did a pretty nice job of setting it up in a way that kind of paid homage to the original because he walked, Jake Gyllenhaal didn't actually do anything for a while. Yeah. You know, he walks in and then Post Malone freaks out and runs. He goes out to the parking lot and the guy stabs him and, you know, the guy runs because Jake Gyllenhaal just, you know, handles the situation without any violence on his part. Yeah. It was actually really cool how they did that. Overall, I enjoyed this movie. I I thought it was fun. Um, The fights at the end went on a little long. I felt like the third act in in general was like, yo, this is kind of overstaying. It's welcome. Yeah. But my overall experience, I felt like was positive. It's a fun action movie. Like, you don't really need too many brain cells to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And like, as far as the action goes, I think because today, you know, we've come a really long way in terms of stunts and how to shoot action. Mm -hmm. It was really entertaining and thrilling, you know, like you really felt scared with all of the the hits and the kicks and the punches and and all of that. So yeah, they they did a good job with that. So Doug Lehman is the director. Doug Lehman did Edge of Tomorrow. He's doing the sequel to Edge of Tomorrow. He did Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yeah. Knowing his previous work, it makes sense of some of the camera work that we saw in here. He did some creative, interesting camera work. But he had a he had a vision in mind. And yeah. so I respect I respect him going for his vision. I don't always agree with the moves he made. I thought that sometimes it just kind of like was like too much. Yeah, sometimes but, it worked and sometimes it was like, eh, that but, wasn't. But what I appreciated about it was, I don't know how much influence Amazon had on this or, or any of the execs. But all too often we hear stories about how the studio gets involved and the studio notes get involved and Mm -hmm. it ruins the director's vision. And I feel like one of the special things that we do tend to get with the streaming platforms is the directors get to have their vision. And so this really felt like 
This was his vision, unfettered, like no restraints. He got to do what he wanted to do. And so that I think is cool, even though I don't love it. There's that positive angle to the whole thing. Well, yeah, I mean, definitely with the camera movements and stuff, sometimes it reminded me of, you know, some of the videos that you see on, on Instagram. Instagram and yeah. stuff where they're constantly like moving around. And I, like, yeah, I don't love that. That's cool and all, but I feel like when you use it too much, it can be a little bit tiring. No, I. it is the trend to like just have these long things yeah. on, on, on Instagram or TikTok or whatever. And I don't love it because I don't feel involved, which is weird given that it's uncut. There's like this weird disconnect that happens, which might be born out of just being raised on films that don't typically do that. One of the only instances I saw them do that where I'm like, this works really well and I feel like I'm part of it was in Creed. You know, they had that long take in Creed's first fight. And I'm like, yo, this is crazy because I feel like I'm like in the ring with them and stuff. Yeah. It's not too often like you have an uncut thing like, or Daredevil season one, episode two. It's like it's a long take and I feel like I'm part of whatever's happening right now. It's hard to pull that off. Yeah. Here, here they, they did something similar, but they decided to really get intimate where the camera's like really in the throes of the fight. And like I said, multiple times, whoa, cool. Like it's, but then other times, no, no. <laughs> just no too just much make it stop too, too much too much whip panning <laughs> like why are you whip panning so much you guys thanks so much for hanging out hopefully you enjoyed that i'm jabby kway this is achara kirk peace out